Hello, I am Quentin Lazzarotto and I directed the film Carlito se va para siempre, which means Carlito lives forever. This little special film was made part of a cinema workshop that was held in the heart of the Amazonian jungle in Peru with the film director Werner Herzog. We had only 12 days to make a film. Give the story, find the actors, find the locations, shoot, edit, and then we had to deliver in the jungle and screen them in the jungle. And I decided that I would tell the story of a young man who had to flee his home village. This is very hard for him because he was in love with another man. I asked, I think, 10 or 15 people in this remote village and none of them wanted to do it. And at the end of the day, I saw Carlito. We met, I explained him the subject, I explained him that I was gay and this was a story that was important for me. And he said, okay. Carlito. Carlito, I take a look at you. I think the biggest challenge for this film was to make the story understandable, considering that I had only amateur actors that would not go far enough to show the gay relationship. So I had to find other ways, and actually cinematographic ways, to show that they were in love and in a relationship. I went to close-ups, I used music, I used cin cinematographic elements to suggest that they are in a relationship because actually if you only look at the story, at what happens, they can only just be two very close friends. And I think this is one of the first time in my filmmaker life that I really felt the power of cinema. It's a very harsh environment which push you to your limit. This, this kind of place, the heart of the jungle, where it's really hot, your camera doesn't work, it's very hard to talk to people, they, they, they don't even speak Spanish, so you cannot talk to them really, to tell them how to act. So it really pushed me to try to tell a very simple story, and maybe a story that is very, very close to who I am, because then I don't have to talk much. So I think that going far to the limit made me address this issue that was actually a bit hard for me to talk about. For them in the village, Movies are more about spectacle, about stunts. Uh, so I'm not sure that they realized the hidden message, also because they were seeing themselves and they were seeing their own village. So I think that this film is more about the metaphor than telling the people in Peru to accept gay relationships. The film addresses the issue of living an openly gay relationship and what it costs Carlito, his home, his native village, it's something that we, in the Western world, we can understand also. is what we have to abandon, what we have to leave, to leave a, just a relationship that should be accepted as a normal relationship. During the editing of the film, even if I, I was addressing a very personal issue concerning uh, the fact that I am gay, I realized that I was actually making a film about escaping. And this is very universal, very human. And what the film says is that even in the deep, far remote regions of the jungle, there is always an escape. It is a positive film. And in this way, I think it can help, it can help gay or lesbian or any kind of communities here to tell, yes, there is a way. When I learned about the selection in Five Films for Freedom, actually, I thought about me first because it will allow me to talk about this personal question, about this personal subject with people everywhere in the world.